shame about Tears Vault. I'll take whatever you manage to sell it from it, though. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye. Very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. Exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. It's another piece of Tyr's likeness sent flying across the lake. Ended up lodged right into this building, apparently. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. <laughs> Doesn't look like you can brute force it. <laughs>
Look, over there. Could be useful. just need to open the gate. Well done. It was not intentional. Oh, sure. My arrows can't go through walls, I'm afraid. Together again. abandoned treasury to you? Aye, it does. It's Seagrin's family crest. Looks like a vault door to me. Now that we have both halves to that key, we should see if it matches that lock. Oh! 
every attack! Prince Dogger. I can't believe he's still here. Prince Dogger? That the corpse of Sigrun's brother? How'd he end up like that then? Freya, why won't you answer me? Certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. Hmm. It's Sigrun put a curse on her brother for killing the Mad King. No. Truly? She did not know the Mad King had murdered her family. Once she did, it was too late. She had cursed her brother. That is why she joined the Valkyries. To atone. You knew all about Sigrun's family, didn't you? Yeah. It's not the same way to tell. Funny. Learning all this only makes me love her more. She chose me despite my flaws, my regrets. Knowing she has some of her own makes me feel closer to her. I am glad to hear it. Shall we get back to finding the norms then? Which way to the sled? Shame about Tears Vault. I'll take whatever you manage to sell it from, though. Thanks for grabbing that for us. Say one thing for Tear. He's got taste. Want something in particular? Hope it's to your liking. What do you need?
If you're ready to find the Norns, let's get back to your sled.
just hope the norms are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Thimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Yes, the ominous broken gravestone. The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. <laughs> Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Let's keep looking. This way. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. <laughs> Only your wolves can help us find the Norns. your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer.
Another gravestone. But this one's intact. Aye. And with a keyhole tailor-made for the help we found. I was afraid of that. Just 
my Favor, brother. You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give them the same. You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. Did these warriors wrong you at some point, Mimir? You're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. when you saw her last. She's still incorporeal, ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. Freya, still have the, uh... Dead bird feathers in your hair. Delightful. Sindri. Want something in particular? If you change your mind... This is the area. Uh. 
<laughs> Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Oh, no. Nah. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. <laughs> the wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. Thimblewinter had worn down some of Odin's curses, but you still needed help. Was it Sigrun who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? Oh, I suppose that is where I had it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? I am no longer sure that I do. That's correct. Well... Seekrun must have helped find your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place I get? They were not. But yes, she did. Argued all the while I should let my anger go. But it helped me just the same. Impossible to say. She's on a mission spanning the realms in search of our lost sisters. Our hope is if she can bring their incorporeal spirits to Vanaheim, we can find a way to restore them to uncorrupted forms. This is the place. Way up. 
there. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the Norns making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. More of your friends. I didn't tell them I don't know what the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. <laughs> brother, this way seems like a way out, not a way in. I concur. The Norns are further up. something. It's stronger this time. Over here. Found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? <laughs> is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful.
Kratos, Ghost of Sparta, Bane of Olympus, Destroyer of Death, Cruel Striker, Bringer of War, Weapon of the Gods, Turned against his creators. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. He cannot minds yet. He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> seems he was guarding that way outside. Like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. <laughs> winded know it all and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver.
suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Lemir. <laughs> they see the whole lives of any who approach them. Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. She sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. Hey, how very dare you! Babbling! Oh, my God. 
Good. Did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Come here! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Very me! Why didn't you trust your old son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Why won't you see him the way he wants to be seen? the test didn't feel much like succeeding i see the door has disappeared or it was never there they toy with us still what is that a kelpie don't see many of those in these parts she must be theirs will she take us to them i'll ask her nicely easy girl easy that's right Good. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. 
That might not be her favorite subject. own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you see. What all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but you called him the, the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, a way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut, shut up! up. <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait, that tree. 
Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. <laughs> Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. I see something. <laughs> Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns.
must find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Hmm. Norns have any good news for you? No. Ah. Maybe buying something expensive will take your mind off it? Whatever you need, I'll create. Always a joy to work on these. What can I make for you? You okay? Or deep in thought? I'll leave you to it.
completed some new blueprints. I think you'll find them useful. Lens seems to be missing. Another berserk of gravestone. Oh! 
to. He's not worth wasting my breath over. His Berserker champions even less so. Trash. A lot of them. Why wait until now to speak of them? Before, there was nothing to be done. Finding that help changed things. We don't have the equipment for this. Kratos? Lady Freya? Sindri.
that grave will provide.
circling back to the topic of prophecies brought about by the efforts to avoid them, I think I can recall such a story as you mentioned, brother. A Greek tale for the stage. Rather lurid, but very popular. You know the one? Every Greek knows the tragedy of the Theban king. Yeah, word gets around about that sort of thing.